Could a black hole one day consume us all? There are millions of them out there, just waiting to be discovered. And if we chance to create a black hole by accident, you'd better tighten your seatbelts. Things are about to get pretty bad. A observable black hole is only 3,000 light years away from Earth. Fortunately, we are sheltered from this stellar black hole and many more like it. There are around 100 million of them in our galaxy that we are aware of. They are supernova remnants, which occur when stars 10 to 20 times the size of our sun collapse in on themselves. Stellar black holes are rather abundant and have diameters of roughly 16 kilometers. Then there's supermassive black holes, which are far more powerful competitors. These are roughly the size of our solar system and weigh more than a million suns combined. One of them, known as Sagittarius A, is located directly in the center of our galaxy. Due to its very dense mass and intense gravitational attraction, a black hole the size of a 1 mm pin might theoretically destroy humankind if it was close enough to Earth. Our survival is entirely dependent on whether or not we have passed the event horizon. Consider this the point of no return for the black hole. To escape, anything beyond this point would have to travel faster than light. If Earth got close enough to the black hole, the side closest to it would start stretching toward it. Our atmosphere would begin to be sucked up. Huge portions of the Earth would then rip apart and follow suit. Tidal heating would occur if Earth fell into the orbit of the black hole. The planet's strong, uneven gravitational attraction would distort it indefinitely. This would cause massive internal friction, heating the Earth's core to dangerous levels. It would almost certainly cause earthquakes, volcanoes, and devastating tsunamis. The Doomsday Trifecta. Earth would eventually begin to stretch, a phenomenon known as spaghettification, not in the delicious, cheesy, tomatoey manner. Assume you're a superhero who decides to go directly into the black hole. Because your arms are closer to your feet, your body will extend out vertically and become increasingly constricted. Let's hope you have flexibility as a superpower. Spaghettification could occur hundreds of kilometers distant from the event horizon for an average-sized star black hole. However, because to the enormity of a supermassive black hole, physicists assume that this would occur inside the event horizon. Whatever enters a black hole, no matter its size, will eventually be shredded into a string of individual atoms. Anything that crosses it will suffer the consequences. You name it people, planets, or stars. Unfortunately, our entire solar system would perish. The delicate balance of the sun and our many planets would collapse, potentially causing them to collide. To make matters worse, our asteroid belt would be dragged toward us. About 200 of the 552,894 known asteroids are larger than 100 kilometers. So, if one of them hits us, we'll be dead before we turn into spaghetti. To be honest, I'm not sure which fat E would be worst. The accretion disk surrounding the black hole would contain all of the materials in our solar system. Massive amounts of radiation are produced as matter is sucked into the black hole. So, even if we manage to avoid all of the asteroids, we'd most likely die from radiation. Astronomers have discovered circumbinary planets that orbit two stars, believe it or not. While this is theoretically possible with a black hole and our sun, the tremendous tidal forces would almost certainly render our planet uninhabitable. Worse, we may someday be thrown out of orbit or consumed by the sun or a black hole. I'm sorry, but there is no way we can win here. Perhaps we could defend ourselves in a hyper-reinforced space shuttle. If we survive the event horizon, we may be in for an even wilder time. Physics as we know it would be altered. Gravity, the speed of light, and even how atoms join. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe for more updates.